Hi there, Scott Moyes here from Kepro Systems in New Zealand. I was recently running this part, or programming this part to run it at the local Haas factory outlet event uh, for their demo day. We'd previously used these soft jaws for something else, um, and so I already had material removed from the top side of them, but I wanted to make sure, I wanted to reuse them. Um, so I flipped them over, and the result was, because the holes weren't symmetrical um, in the Z, um, Z axis, they sat down below the top face of this vise, which wasn't a big deal. I just needed to make sure that my all my tools cleared it and there was, weren't going to be any crashes. Now, um, there's quite a bit of stock that was left on the top of here from the first operation. So I wanted to face it off and step down in multiple depths and then do a nice little finish pass at the end. But my f um, face mill is 50 mils in diameter and the width of this stock is 50 mils as well. And if we just restart the measuring tool, we can see that we've got 62 mils between the jaw faces. So we've only got 12 mils to play with here. So what happens if we just use the normal facing strategy? So typically that's going to go and find the top face of the model and drop a toolpath onto it, which is normally great. But in this instance here, um, we've actually got a situation where the tool is now crashing straight into the, uh, the vice jaw, which isn't good, obviously. So how do we go about containing it? Well, we could come in here and try and set the step over to, um, say, 2 mils, and see what happens. But we end up with a whole heap of step overs and it just gets worse. We could draw a sketch, a really small sketch, and override the stock selections and make that narrower, but that's not ideal. I don't really want to be doing sketches. So what other strategies have we got? We've got 2D Adaptive, well, I could, yeah but it's not really what I want. Um, 2D Pocket, that may do it. Um, 2D Contour, yeah, I could fudge that and make that work too. Um, and in fact, that's what I did do. Um, but it's as a result of this conversation on about the, the facing strategy in these kinds of situations on the Autodesk CAM forum that CJ Abraham suggested that um, I should uh, try using the 2D Pocket. And at first, I didn't think it would work and the results I was getting weren't um, what I wanted. Uh, we also tried the slot tool and that didn't work either. So here's the thing. You can get exactly what you need by using an open pocket. So launch the 2D pocket command. Make sure you've got your tool selected. And then on the geometry tab, with the Alt key pressed down, you get the ability to select individual edges and kind of shortcut the process of um, creating open contours. So I can just select single edges. Sorry, I'll clear that. Do the do it again. So holding down Alt, select the first edge. Select the second edge, and just make sure that I've got my direction and the tool sitting on the right side of those lines. So now I've got an open pocket defined. Now the bottom height is um, automatically defaulted selected contours, and I want to change that to selection. Now hover over the face that you want to select, in this case I want to get to the top face of that bottle opener. So if I right click and select ever and cycle through the options, I'm able to then left click on that face. So now my tool, my tool paths are going to get generated down to this level here. There is quite a bit of stock left on here, so I needed to come down in multiple depths. Um, so I'll turn on multiple depths and I'm happy with 2 mil step downs. I want to do one finishing pass at 0.2 mils thick to get a nice finish. And my stock to leave, I don't want to um, leave any radial. Sorry, I do. I want minus three radial and zero, zero millimeters axial. Now, the reason why I've done this is to make sure that the tool overhangs these edges slightly just to make sure I get a nice clean cut and all of the material is removed. Now, finally, on the passes tab, um, Typically, the toolpath that gets generated is going to create a vertical lead-in radius. Well, I'm going to make sure that my tool plunges outside of the stock, um, so I don't need to do that. I'll make sure it comes fully down to height straight away instead of ramping in. So let's have a look and see what the result's like. So that right out the box looks pretty good. So let's simulate it and see what we get. So the tool's going to come down and clear nicely. And we get this nice 
radial link on the end down to another Z depth and everything's clearing just fine so that's worked out really really nicely so we can now save that out as a template and use it as another um, so we don't have to go through and set all those options again in the future and store it out as a template and we can call it um, say a restricted facing strategy and that's it it's there ready for us to use next time we need to do this type of material removal well thanks for tuning in today I hope that um, tip was helpful thanks to CJ for giving me some pointers on the forum and everyone else as well and uh, have a good day